rolling. All right, YouTube, boy, Mr. Gideon. Checking in right quick. A quick update. Uh, I don't know why I always say that. Quick update. It don't never be quick. I guess it just sounds good. But anywho, we working on... Oh, man. This, um, Dunk. Real kit for the Dunk. Uh, this kit was originally for the 8.2. Then uh, we decided, well, this kit was originally for the eight and a half because um, we would don't make a dunk kit. No, this was for originally for the eight point two. We would right, we would don't make a dunk kit. They don't make one for eight and a half for a dunk. They don't make one for eight point two. The regular eight and a half wheel wood kit might work, but I forgot what the offset of the rotors, I mean the offset of the axle flange, how you determine your offset is. Like when you look at the wheel wood kits, it might say two and three quarters. You measure behind the flange to in front of the axle, and you see two and a half. All four nine is a two and a half. I don't care if it's in a G body. I don't care if it's in a Ford truck. I don't care if it's in a, a Donk. I don't care if it's in a Caprice. I don't care if it's in is in a BMW. All four nine inches have two and a half offset. That's all you need to know. Wheelwood do make an offset, a two and a half offset for the four nine inch. If I knew it was going original nine inch, we would have just bought that. That it took the headache out. Uh, been s simple, but anywho, we had the eight two, so then we changed our mind, went to nine, and so I had to change the bracket. And I had already ordered the calibers and the rotors. I was too deep already in for the for the change it up. So uh, I was too deep in to change it. Uh, Send stuff back, and so I just. We came over the bracket for the nine inch. Uh, mosquitoes out here, boy. Uh, came over the bracket for the nine inch. So the bracket just bolts on. When you use this bracket on the nine inch, you don't need the retainer, the nine inch retainer clip that holds the axis. This bracket wheel takes the place of the retainer clip. Four bolts bolted up. Uh, Four bolts, it's a two piece bracket. Uh, sometimes you have to play with the shims just to see what you need. I think I got it all figured out. So you won't have too much to worry about that. The shims that come with the kit is gonna focus, focus. The shims that come with the kit, that's that's all the shims you're gonna need. Uh, how this kit work? This kit, I can continue doing it in the nine inch, but this kit was originally for the eight and a half. Or the 8.2 for the dump. Uh, really supposed to be 8.2, 8 but yeah, yeah, we could do it in the eight and a half too. I forgot the eight and a half have a funny flange shape, and Wheelwood did not make a backing plate to fit that eight and a half dunk flange or the 8.2. The 8.2 bolts in like a nine inch. It got bolts on the outside to bolt in the axis, so. Got this dunk kit in the 8.2, 8.5, and I could do it in the 9 inch if you want to save a few bucks. This kit will come out a little cheaper than the, the Wheelwood 9 inch kit. I think it's about, I think I can get it for about 800, 825. I think some of it might have it for 850. If you go on the Wheelwood website, it's probably about 1,000 or 900, something like that. But, uh, I really recommend this kit for the 8.2 and the 8.5 for the dunk, but if you want to do it on the 9-inch, hit me up. I just do it in the 9-inch for you, no problem. So, how this kit works is, it's a 11-inch road, I think. I'm already five minutes in, I can feel this going to be a long time. 11 and 5 8. This kit will fit 14 inch wheels. I mean, 15 inch wheels. I'm sorry. How this kit works is you know, the dunk is on a 5 on 5. 
I have dunk kits on the C5 calibers, Brembro calibers, but you have to remind yourself all those cars, the VET and the Camaro came on the 5x120. And that you know I mean you will have to, to go to the machine shop or anybody that drill wheels out, they would have need re-drill the rotors to a 5x5. Five by five. But these are already 5x5. Five five. These come off a of 96 and power. Hold what you got, you two. Hold on. All right, you two. Fade back. Uh, this rotor comes off a of 96 and power. It's already drilled out to 5x5. Five five. You don't have to worry about spending extra money to get the Camaro or the C5 vet or the C6 vet, C7 vet, whatever. Drilled out to 5x120. Just to save you a few bucks. Uh, you can get this rotor on eBay for about uh, 60 bucks, 50 bucks with pads, but you're not going to use the pads, of course. Uh, it's supposed to be zinc coated, but uh, it looks kind of grayish. I don't know. Usually the zinc coat kind of be kind of shiny chrome looking. Uh, these came from some guy in Canada, uh, but it was like 65, 70 bucks. The other day, I sent somebody a link. I seen some on there for like 50 bucks, so just gotta check use your sources to go anywhere up uh, you're gonna need the 5x5 95 96 97 SS Impala real roller okay this kit uses the wheel wood uh, D52 calibers it's two piston calibers so you purchase the kit from me it will come with the backing plate Calibers, uh, pads, uh, wheel wood, brake lines. Uh, let's see it on here. But, uh, I don't see the box. Box somewhere. Hold on, you two. Wheel wood, brake lines, stainless steel braided flexible line, flex line kit. That's the part number. That kit will come with that. Two brand new calibers shipped straight from Wheelwood and the pads. Um, if you want to upgrade to ceramic coated pads, not ceramic coated, ceramic pads, it'll be a little more. I'm not quite sure how much right off. Just let me know. Uh, this kit will be going for around about, uh, I think about 650. Get the backing plate. Two calibers and the pads. I think it's gonna go for around about six fifty with the pads. Cause I quoted somebody wrong the other day, and he said he had pads from some kid he bought. It didn't work, and he forgot to send the pads back, so he kept them. So I don't know, but anywho, this kid will go for about six fifty. By the time you buy rotors, you'll be in it about seven hundred bucks probably. So again, kit come for me will be. They come with the backing plate, two calibers, pads, and the wheel wood brake lines for like $650, I think. $670, can't quite remember. Uh, message me, uh, YouTube, uh, not YouTube, uh, Google me. Go mean, Google me, send me an email. Email or uh, IG, that's a quick way to get a hold to me. Um, and I'm gonna put this together so y'all can see it right quick. Over and out. Um, YouTube got the calibers here. Calibers gonna come with uh, the pins, blue pins, and the little brass sleeve. Um, put the calibers in there. I mean, I'm sorry, put the pads, place the pads in there. I do this in one hand. All right, you two, we faded back. Slide it on in there, just like so. Uh, I got two backing plates in there. I mean, two shims. I got a thicker shim and a small shim. I don't really think I needed that small shim. I don't know the size uh, right off, but I, I don't think I really needed that shim. But it's on there. I'm gonna leave it. Uh, Go put the pin in. Make sure it's coming across to catch this uh, real shoe. 
the real shoe don't catch the pin. It just hook, it just hooks into this little hole here. See that? Make sure you line it up. Get the pin in there. Uh, same thing for the bottom. Uh, you're gonna need what size, Allen? You're gonna need for this. You're gonna need. Focus, 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 focus. Oh, I don't see the size. I'll, I'll let you know the size. Whatever size it is, for stock, new body, boat, uh, caliber boats, that's going to be the Allen wrench you're going to need for this, for this kit. All right. Bam. That's it, YouTube. That's how you install wheel wood brakes on the dunk real simple uh i don't there's really nothing else i can say um you don't need to worry about cutting the flange down the flange already come cut boats gonna come in old boats these uh t-boats these t-boats will come i'm gonna have to paint this i thought that was stainless steel or something but anyway uh the t-boats will come in the kit as well for the backing plate so you get eight T bolts, braided lines, two new calibers, and the, uh, two pairs of pads. And you have to source out your own calibers. I mean, source out your own rotors. I'm sorry, uh, but this kit will fit 14 inch rotors. Uh, she is very tight, but she clear though. She's tight. Probably make a little adjustment on the next cut set brackets. Might bring it back just about a sixteenth of an inch because it's, it's riding pretty close, but it's not touching. Uh, rotors don't go back and forth; they just go in a circle, so it's stationary. So I don't have to. It won't. You won't have to worry about it rubbing. Uh, what else, YouTube? What else? Um, that's it. That's how you put. Uh, same concept. If you have an eight and a half, I mean, yeah, if you have an eight and a half, take off your back and plate, all your drums. I show a picture of how the eight and a half flange look. Bolt it up to the flange, the four bolts. Those four bolts will come with it as well. Bolt it up to the flange. Same, same way. Uh, got any questions? I'm not hard to find. Uh, if y'all need me to do another video on this and kind of, I don't know. I'm not sure how good of an info, how good of a detailed video I did on this. I think, I just feel like I was going fast, I feel like it. But, anywho, um, just let me know if you got any questions. Looking for a kit for a donk. Working on a front kit for the donk. I don't know what happened, but, um, questions, email me, DM me on Instagram. I'm not hard to find. Kit very simple to put together. Um, maybe I'll go, go back through it, taking it down. Hold on. Oh, uh, heck, I went too fast. But anyway, it's been rough on this, this build, YouTube, trying to get the footage and build, man. It's been rough. The car be finished, man. Almost done. Y'all ain't, y'all not really up to date with the videos, man. Apologize. But, Slide it in, in the grooves like that. Just like that. Slide it in the grooves. Uh, I was still marking it up, so I got to put these other bolts in here. Make sure you got all these bolts on here. And uh, that's pretty much it, YouTube. Uh, boy, I'm going to get it. Hey, what's up, y'all? It's your boy, let's get in there. I want to let y'all know, man, I got some keychains, man. Some nice keychains, black or clear, going for 10 bucks. Get in there, customs with the new logo, man. We're trying to make power moves for 2020, man. I appreciate y'all. If y'all can support me, um, get a keychain from me. Just PayPal me. I'll leave my PayPal link in the description to send your friends and family uh, with your address in the notes. And I. Uh, the keychain should be coming in about another week. I got t-shirts coming as well. 
I'm trying to get a pre kind of like a pre count order of t shirts that way I can kind of keep the price between about 16, 17 to 20 bucks shipped. So I'll let y'all know on the t shirts if y'all interested in getting some t shirts. I got some stickers coming soon as well. Those will be like, I think like $4.50, four bucks for the t shirt. I mean, for the stickers. Um, I appreciate y'all. Y'all want to show a little support, get a keychain from it. Um, I'll leave my PayPal link in the bio. I mean, I'm sorry, in the description. And my Insta, I mean, my uh, cash out uh, name, screen name, whatever you want to call it, in the description. Appreciate y'all over and out.